Jeff from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. I'd like to welcome you to our March New Products video. Our first new product are these weather strip belts. These fit the 87 to 97 Ford 250, 350 crew cab. These are for the rear door, these are the inners. We had the outers, so we had the inners made. Really nice product, sold right and left together. Got all the clips on them, all you do is snap them in place. Got the nice rubber back backing right here. This it seals over your door panel, so it doesn't run doesn't go run in between the door and the window. Brand new for the '87 to '97 250, 350 crew cab rear door inner weather strip belts. And our next new product are these beautiful billet door handles. These are inside door handles. They fit the '80 to '96 Ford Bronco and the '80 to '97 F Series pickup. They're sold as a pair. These happen to be made in the United States. Really nice product, got a distinctive design on it, really nice. What's nice about this, if you have the 87 to 97 truck or Bronco, they put plastic ones on there, they snap off in the cold weather. So this gives you another option. We have the 80 to 96 chrome ones, right and left. We have the black metal ones. We have the plastic ones, and this gives you the beautiful billet aluminum ones, all for the 1980 to 96 Ford Bronco and the 1980 to 97 F-Series pickup. They're sold as pairs. And our next new product is a sending unit lock ring tool. Last month we had the two inch one, well we came out with the three and five eighths one. This fits the 90 to 96 Ford Bronco and the 85 to 97 F series pickup. It's nice about this, get your gas tank down, you want to change the sending unit, you just pop it right on, twist it one way, comes off, put the sending unit back in, put the new lock ring and seal in it, bang, it goes the other way. Long gone are the hammer and chisel or hammer and screwdriver. You gotta tap it around, try to get it straight. This does it one time. Seconds motion, really good. We have them in the three and five eighths, and we also have them in the two inch. Brand new from the Bronco Graveyard. And our next new product is a steering box. This one here fits the 73 to 79 F Series pickup two wheel drive. Brand new reproduction. So when you buy it, you buy it outright. There's no core to deal with. You don't have to send stuff back to us. We don't have to send stuff to you. It's brand new. This is a total brand new unit. No used parts in it. From the 73 to 79 F-Series pickup. That's the 100, 150, 250, 350 two-wheel drive. Gives you all the mounting points. Even got the bracket for the proportioning valve right here. Two-year, 30,000 mile warranty on it and no core. Bullet in place with a new pump on it, new hoses, bleed it out, and you're ready to go. And for our March Web Truck of the Month, we have my 66 Vintage Camper. You'll enjoy the video, it's a pretty unique truck. Thank you for your support, and hope to see you again next month. This is my 1966 U15 Vintage Bronco Camper. This is a first or second month production Bronco. Got the shocks facing forward. So what's unique about this, it's got the six cylinder with the uh, Dana 30 front, 4, 410 open front and rear with the three speed. Uh, years ago when I was told when I bought this, two brothers bought it in Denver, Colorado from the Ford dealer and he had a RV dealer on the other side. So he took the Bronco, rolled it over there and they put this camper on. This was made in Denver, it's a Crusader camper. It's pretty unique. I've only seen one. I've been doing this for 40 years. Uh, I had a chance to buy this about 12, 14 years ago, so I snapped it up. I figured I'd keep it for history for the Bronco, and people love the truck. They always come look at it when they come to the showroom. But it's basically a step back in time. The brothers used it in Colorado. They did trout fishing, and they did elk, hunted elk in the fall. What they did, they, it's pretty small inside, so they used that for like a severe weather shelter, but they had a tent, and then they cooked their food inside. It's got a stove in it. It's got a sink in it for water. And you can sleep in it if you want, but it's pretty small. What the, the Ford dealer did, they took it over there and they put, they extended the frame rails out about two feet, slid them in there, put the bumper on the back, dropped the camper in. Bolted right on the truck. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's, what's nice about it, it's pretty much vintage. It was, had a little bit of repaint to it, but it, most of it's the way it is. It's 50 some years old and it's got all the little scars on it when it went through the woods and dragging and stuff like that. But inside is pretty cool. It's got all these little cabinets in here. 
It's like an up north cabin. They've got all the stuff left in here. It's all vintage stuff from back in the day. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got a table, some folding seats where you can make a bed in it, but otherwise it's pretty much untouched. It's got a gun rack inside. In the front, and we'll show you later, it's got a, they had a, when they went off road, they had a, made a box and they put a wood box on the driver's side wheel tub. What's nice in there, they put wheel chains in there. They had a black and decker small winch, which you'll see in the front. And they got stuck, they could put, put the chains on it. They had cable extensions and they put an extra fan belt in there. They had a starter solenoid, voltage regulator, all that stuff that, in case they broke down and, you know, in the woods. But it came available about 12, 14 years ago and I called the guy in, in, in Denver. He said, yeah, I brought it. My buddy wanted it, now he don't want it. Uh, we we're gonna just take the camper off and throw it away. So I bought it from him and the rest is history. It's been here ever since.